In the following tutorial, we will dive deep into setting up your environment in Visual Studio Code, coding a AWS Lambda function in Python and deploying it with just a few clicks. This approach not only saves time, but also enhances your development experience, ensuring that your focus remains on building scalable and efficient serverless applications. Visual Studio Code, or VS Code, stands out for its lightweight nature, extensive plugin ecosystem, and a robust support for Python. Its intuitive interface and powerful features such as IntelliSense for code completion and debugging tools makes coding more efficient and less error prone. Specifically for AWS Lambda, Visual Studio Code offers the AWS Toolkit extension, which provides a seamless integration with AWS services. This means you can easily manage and deploy your AWS Lambda functions directly from your IDE without a need to switch between tools or navigate complex CLI commands. One of the highlights of using Visual Studio Code for AWS Lambda development is the ability to automatically deploy your code directly into AWS. This streamlines your workflow, allowing for more rapid testing and deployment cycles. Whether you're making small tweaks or major updates, Visual Studio Code in tandem with AWS Toolkit simplifies the process, enabling you to focus on writing high quality code. If you haven't installed Visual Studio Code yet, let's install this first. First, download, search for Visual Studio Code or direct your browser to the official website. For those on Windows, I would recommend go ahead and use the user installer, which is suitable for individual users' accounts and does not require administrative rights. Alternatively, if you prefer machine-wide installation and have the necessary permissions, opt for the system installer. If you're on Mac, go ahead and install the Mac version. Once you're done, we're ready to get started. So now that you've installed Visual Studio Code, let's get started and create our project folder. Click on File, and this is where we want to put all our project folder. So right click here, click on New Folder, and let's call it AWS Function PY. Now let's accept the security warning. In here, let's create a subfolder called DB Demo Function. This is where we'll put all of our Lambda functions. Now, what we do is we create a file called Lambda functions. Copy and paste the Lambda function Python code from the previous code example that I provided to you in the LMS. You need to replace the database name, username, password with the Postgres credentials and the endpoints. I'll go to terminal and then click on new. And then notice we are currently in the AWS folder. Uh, we need to um, go into the subfolder called DB demo function. So what we will do here is we will type on cd demo function where we will go into the folder where we have um, the lambda code. After this, let's use pip install to install our dependencies. Follow the code here. To run the code locally, all you have to do is type Python and Lambda functions. And let's see, look at the results. You can see that the results is now displaying exactly the same results that we saw earlier on from the Lambda service. For the next step, let's have a look at installing the AWS toolkit in Visual Studio Code. Once again, click on extensions and type in AWS. And you'll see the first result, which says AWS Toolkit. 
I've already installed it on my computer. What we want to do is click on install. And once it gets installed, you will see a little icon here called AWS. Once the AWS toolkit for Visual Studio Code is installed correctly, and you can see this icon, let's click on this icon called AWS. <clears throat> when you click on it, you will see a couple of different options. Uh, we want to connect to the Resource Explorer. Um, you can read up a little bit more about Resource Explorer, and we'll look into that example. But the first thing is, we will need to um, get all the M, AWS IAM role credentials before we can use it. So let's go over to AWS um, console and um, let's set up our credentials and come back and set this up. So what we want to do here in the AWS console is to go to the IAM, look for IAM, which is Identity Access Management. In the IAM dashboard, what we need to now do is click on the user. In the security credentials, We want to create the access key. So let's go and create the access key. We can select a number of these options, uh, but for this purpose, what we'll do is click others. And let's give it a description so that we can remember what this key is for. You won't be able to retrieve again, so I would strongly recommend to download the CSV file or remember to note down the access key and the secret key. Click on continue. Now that you have it downloaded, you can also see um, that this credential is active. So after you've created the IAM credentials, let's go back to VS Code and click on the AWS Toolkit. What we want to do is go back and select the Use Provide IAM Role Credentials. So give it a profile name. An example of a profile name could be, let's say this is your bootcamp IAM access. In here, in the profile name, um, type in, let's say, bootcamp profile. And in the access key, just copy across the access key that uh, you've just um, copied across from AWS IAM and the same thing for secret key. I've already gone ahead and set this up, so I'm gonna skip this, but go ahead and do that, and then click Add Profile. Assuming you haven't made any errors with the copy and paste, this should all work well. So now let's have a look at how do we deploy the Lambda function from Visual Studio Code directly into our AWS. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to upload this. So right click on upload Lambda, click on select directory and click no, select the directory and what it will do is zip everything in the current folder. Let's give it a wait. Now it's uploaded. Now let's get back to AWS.
So now in AWS, let's refresh the screen. You should be able to now see that the code is uploaded. You can also see a message. So now it's the same code as you have in Visual Studio. To recap, firstly, we have created an IAM role within AWS with an access key and a secret that will allow you to connect Visual Studio Code with AWS using the AWS Toolkit Visual Studio Code extension. Secondly, you can edit and test your code locally before you deploy into AWS. That has huge advantages of being able to do that and also make use of Visual Studio Code and all of its capabilities. And thirdly, to be able to deploy your code directly from Visual Studio Code and also test it within Visual Studio Code before you deploy um, the code. You can also test your APIs and your Lambda functions directly from Visual Studio as well. Some of the key things to keep in mind that we skipped over during this video. The first is to keep your access key and your password securely. Managing the process is a key part of the overall cybersecurity practice. You cannot have these keys and secrets lying around on your computer. Secondly, the Lambda functions has credentials, as you can see in here, that is embedded directly into this code. This is extremely dangerous from a cybersecurity point of view. All these credentials should be outside of the code and stored safely uh, within the environment variables. We will cover the environment variables and how to secure the secret credentials outside of the code. This will be covered in the overall DevOps processes.